Welcome to the CTTP training videos. R.461 In place density and percent compaction of asphalt concrete hot mix using a nuclear gauge. Standardize the gauge before each day's use. Please see the CTTP asphalt standard count video for more information. Locate the three random, dry, flat test areas in the lot or sublot required for testing. If it was necessary to use sand during the establishment of the job correction factor, use sand to fill voids at all test locations. To do this, pour a small amount of dry sand onto the pavement surface. Use the scraper plate or other tool to distribute the sand into the pores and scrape off any excess so that the gauge will sit directly on the asphalt surface. Determine the direction of the paving operation. For testing, align the source rod with the direction of paving. Place the gauge directly over the chosen test site. Set the test depth to backscatter by pressing depth, then using the up or down arrow keys to select backscatter. Press yes to accept this depth. Set the time to one minute by pressing the time button. Use the up or down arrows to change the time. Once set, press yes to accept. Ensure that the gauge is stable and not rocking on the mat by pressing down on diagonally opposite corners. Lower the source rod to the backscatter position, which is the first notch below the safe position. Press the start button and move away at least three feet from the gauge. After one minute, return to the gauge and safe the rod by pulling the handle straight up into the safe position. Using the up or down arrow keys, scroll through the results until the wet density is shown. Record the wet density reading from the gauge. Record the station number and offset for each location. If multiple lifts are being placed, make sure you also note which lift was tested. Calculate the percent compaction for the test location by adding the job correction factor to the wet density, then dividing by the maximum density of the mixture. Report the percent compaction of each test to the nearest 0.1%. Test at the remaining locations. Report the compaction results according to the rules found in section 5.4 through 5.6 of R.461. Please visit our website at cttp.org for other training videos and modules.